came to wish and wish for a child. At last, their wish came true. A princess was born. The king and queen were very happy. The queen decided to give a party. She asked everyone to come. She even asked the three good fairies. But there was one fairy who was not asked. She was the wicked fairy. When she heard about the party, her eyes burned with anger. Her, they'll be sorry they did not ask me, she told the black fairy. The day of the party, all the lords and ladies of the land came to the castle. They rode up in fine coaches. Each coach was filled with little gifts for the princess. The party was just begun when the three good fairies appeared. We have very special gifts for the princess, said the princess fairy. She waved her wand over the sleeping baby. Little princess, she said, I give you the gift of beauty. Then the second fairy stepped up. Little princess, I give you the gift of kindness. Just as the third good fairy started to speak, there was a terrible sound. The castle door flew open. There, in a cloud of smoke, stood the wicked fairy. Her, bled, her big black bird was with her. You did ask me to your party, she said, but I have a gift for the princess too. The wicked fairy smiled, a terrible smile. When the princess is 16, she will prick her finger on the spindle of a spinning wheel and she will die. Oh no, cried the lords and ladies. Grab her, or cried the king. And just as the king's hand reached the wicked fairy, poof, she disappeared in a puff of smoke. Very good, fairy said. your finger. You will only go to sleep. You will, but you will sleep until the prince comes and breaks the spell. Why do you do that? Then the king had an idea. If there are no spin wheels, he said, then the prince, princess cannot break her finger. So the king's men burned all the spin wheels in the castle. They made a great fire in the yard. But there was one spinning wheel that was not burnt. It stole in a little room at the top of the castle. No one went, ever went into that room. No one even knew the spinning wheel was, wheel was there. Sixteen years went by. The princess grew up to be a very pure, beautiful and very kind, but she was also very curious. One day she came upon some stairs. I wonder where these stairs go, said the princess. She climbed and climbed. The stairs went around and around, all the way up to the top of the castle. There, she saw a little door. She opened it. She stepped into a little room. There stood the one spinning wheel that had not been burned. I wonder what this is, said the princess. When she reached out to touch it, she pricked her finger on the spindle. Suddenly, the princess felt very dizzy. She lay down on the bed and went. Fell fast asleep. When the princess went to sleep, the good fairies came and put a sleeping spell on the castle. The king and queen were having dinner. Everyone went to sleep right when they were. Even the dogs and horses and chickens were asleep. No, everything fell mm -hmm. asleep. Nothing, nothing moved. Nothing very sad. Only a prince could break that spell. But the wicked fairy did not get up. Give up. She told a big black bird, I will make sure that our princess does not get into the castle. Then that sleeping spell will never end. She made a great dance with roses that grew up around the castle. No one dared go into the forest, so the castle slept and slept. It stayed that way for 100 years. After all, then, after all those years, the prince rode by. He saw three women. There were three good fairies, only in disguise. What is inside this forest? he asked her. No one knows, said the stone man. No one has ever tried to get in. Then I will try, said the prince. Take this sword, said the leather. It is a magic sword. And before the prince could speak, poof, the three women were gone. The prince cut, the prince cut a branch. 
differences with, with the sun. Suddenly, the branch has moved out all of his way. The princess of the water in the road forest did not notice though, that a big black bird was watching him. The bird went off to check on the fairy. When she heard about the prince, she flew into a rage. I must kill him. I shall turn myself into a dragon and look for him in the rose forest. The prince saw the terrible dragon and held up his sword. The prince was very brave. The, the dragon clapped the flames at him. He charged at the dragon. The magic sword flashed with light just before it fell to his body. The dragon screamed and fell to the ground. It was dead. And so the prince went on. He saw an old castle. When he went inside, he saw a strange sight. No one was moving. No one was making a sign. The prince looked around and saw some stairs. He climbed up them and went to the top of the castle. There he saw a little door. He opened the door and found a sleeping princess. She was so beautiful, he went down and kissed her. Suddenly the princess woke up. The spell was broken. You have saved us, said the king. You shall have anything you wish. My only wish is to marry the princess, said the prince, and he did. The prince and the princess lived happily ever after. Not any. Yay! Oh, there's Maggie, the lights. Come here. Maggie, come in. Hey, hold my hand. Ready? Well, Not yet. Wait oh, for Maggie. Maggie. One, two, three, back. Oh my gosh, you guys are geniuses. I thought that was awesome. I don't need a diaper anymore.